justice for all. <clears throat> Let us pray. God, help us in making the right decision. Help us choose wisely between the options that are set before us as the MISD board. Protect us from clouded judgment and bless us with a sound mind. Help us to have wisdom in our minds and hope in our hearts. Come guide us and inspire us as we seek to choose the right decision. In your precious name we pray, amen. 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 next item on the agenda is open forum or public comment. Before we begin, I will remind our audience members of the board procedures of handling public comment. The public comment portion of our meeting is available to members to the public who wish to address an agenda item to be considered by the board on tonight's agenda. Anyone who wants to speak during public comment must sign in prior to the start of the meeting and list the agenda item they want to discuss. Each public comment speaker will be allowed a maximum of five minutes to address the board. However, any public testimony speaker who requires a translator will receive up to 10 minutes to address the board. The public comment portion of the meeting will allow all speakers who have signed up before the start of the meeting to address the board regarding an item on tonight's agenda. Please keep your comments or criticism civil and courteous. Please also avoid using profanity and refrain from making personal attacks on others during your opportunity to speak. Last, we ask that you do not discuss students who are not your own child. If a speaker is, is seeking board resolution of a specific com complaint, that concern should be addressed through the district grievance process. District policy DGBA has been established for addressing employee complaints Policy FNG is the avenue for filing parent complaints, and policy GF addresses community member complaints. Grievance forms can be obtained at any campus, administration office, or in the central office, central administration offices. Thank you. Our first speaker is? Good evening, President Trevino, Superintendent Mendiola, board members. I appreciate the opportunity to be in front of you this afternoon. Um, my name is Ramon Montalvo, and I am the owner of Montalvo Insurance Agency in Westlaco, and have been specializing in public entity insurance for over 40 years. Uh, we have been insuring a Mercedes uh, ISD on your casualty, uh, auto, general liability, school board leaders, and what have you for this past year. Uh, coming up and uh, expiring on 9-1. Uh, I feel that we've done a, a pretty good service uh, with the staff and, and all the requests that you have, whether it be adding vehicles or need ID cards or reporting a claim or what have you. Uh, we also uh, ensure your, your neighboring school districts in, in West Lago and, and Ed Cal Chelsea. I'm here to, co to comment on the uh, tonight's agenda item five, which it reads in, in part, Discussion and possible action to provide termination notice to Carlisle Agency and Montalvo Insurance for property casualty insurance and authorize administration to assign agent if necessary to assist in the procurement process. Obviously, it's the prerogative of the board to do what you, what you want, can, can do or want to do, but I feel that it's a, better, a better avenue would be to go out for a RFQ or request for qualifications, um, not, a, not an RFP, for an agent to handle your, your PNC business. Without an RFQ process, I'm not sure how the best decision can be made for the district. Other school districts have opted to go this route with good results. RFQ process would allow you to look into the qualifications of the various agencies rather than just go with an agreed agent that may not be qualified or giving you the best uh, service for the district or have the companies. As you know, the district went out for RFP recently with a deadline of, um, extended deadline of yesterday. Um, I submitted for the same coverage we currently write, 
uh, with an option of allowing our agency to take over as agent on your property. It's just simply an option. But uh, the, the company that we submitted with is with Liberty Mutual, and they, uh, of course, have offered the best pricing uh, in the terms last year. The agenda, <coughs> the agenda item tonight states that this action would allow administration to make the choice. In all the years in my business that I've been in, it's always been up to the board to make this important decision. So again, I appreciate the opportunity to be in front of you all tonight. Thank you. Ms. Martha, anyone else? Good evening, President and Superintendent and board members. The um, reason I'm here this evening is the last board meeting. I listened to it on recording, and a board member was asked to give the Pledge of Allegiance, and he refused to give the Pledge of Allegiance. And I find this very, very disrespectful. In the 12 years I was on the school board in Mercedes, we never had an issue like that or someone refusing to give the invocation. And it really hit me hard because, you know, I'm very, very proud of this country, this nation, my family immigrated here back in the 1850s from Germany. I'm the third generation resident of Mercedes. Three generations, my mother, myself, my sisters, and my children, and my grandchild went to Mercedes schools. And to have something like this happen in our schools, to me that is, just as bad, I see it on TV and they condone it happening where they're burning the flag. And when you burn the American flag, to me, you're not an American citizen. You're, and, and you shouldn't be, um, you should be, should be put in prison for it, but, or asked to leave the country because it's, when you're disrespectful of a flag and any other, I would have, I presume in many other countries and around the world, if you burn a flag, you're not going to get away with it. You're not going to walk away from it. And by not saying the Pledge of Allegiance, I'm very, very disappointed that that was not read by the individual that was asked to not to read it, but to, but to say it. And, you know, for all the veterans, in the in this community and there's a lot of veterans in this community if they were aware of this i think they would be very very upset just like i'm upset and it's very despicable and i think that the, an individual that is not respectful of the pledge of allegiance or the american flag i don't think should be qualified to serve to continue to serve on the board Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr. Vogel. Any others, Ms. Martha? No? That's it. Okay. Next, we have the action agenda. A, business office. One, discussion and possible action to reject all bids associated with health insurance, RFP number 042121-353. Ms. Mendiola. Good evening, Madam President, Board of Trustees, Mercedes ISD community, and staff. Um, item number one, at this time, administration is not making a recommendation and request that no action be taken at this time. Okay. So if no action is taken, we don't have to go through the motion or anything. Is that correct, Mr. Buck? Okay. Uh, then we'll move on to number two, discussion and possible action to award to award Voluntary Benefits Plan RFP number 04212 356A Dental. 
Madam Chairwoman, at this time, administration is recommending the standard as a carrier for our dental insurance. Okay, may I have a motion? So moved. I have a motion by Mr. Acosta. May I have a second? Second. I have a second by Mr. Garza. Any discussion? Okay, thank you. All those in favor say aye. 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 Mr. Howell? Aye. Wait, All those. What, 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 what's the vote? I'm sorry. The, the vote count? Are, are you in favor, sir, or not? Not okay. Um, all those opposed, all those opposed would be, I guess, Mr. Howell. Uh, motion passes. B. Vision. May I have a? I'm sorry. Yes. Vision, Ms. Uh, Madam Chairman. Madam Chairwoman. Woman. At this time, <laughs> uh, administration is recommending UHC for Vision Insurance for Mercedes ISD. May I have a motion, please? So moved. I have a motion by Mr. Garza. May I have a second? A second. I have a second by uh, Ms. Delgado. Any discussion? Uh, Ms. Mendiola, real quick question. Uh, yes, sir. No agent uh, is involved with uh, the vision, correct? With the vision, it would be UHC, and we don't have an agent. Okay, fair enough. Okay. Any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion passes. C. Voluntary life and disability insurance. Mrs. Mendiola. Madam Chairwoman, at this time, administration is recommending the standard for voluntary life and disability insurance for Mercedes ISD. Okay. May I have a motion, please? So moved. I have a motion from Mr. Acosta. May I have a second? Second. I have a second from Mr. Garza. Any discussion? Madam Chairman, um, I, I had an opportunity to review some of the options on this, um, on this presentation. And because uh, they're so close, I mean, there's not much a difference as far as um, but I do have some questions, and I, you know, I feel like I, I need to know. I, I'd like to know a little bit more about about this particular benefit. Um, it, it's kind of hard to make a decision, and because it's it does, you know, it's, mm -hmm. it impacts our, our employees. Um, and I, I like to make sure that they that they're getting something good, that they're getting something that they need. Um, so because this was pretty much the only thing, the only information provided. And if you, I don't know if you all, if, if anyone um, had an opportunity to review the, uh, the, the document, but um, it's, it's very close. And um, so I was wondering if we can discuss this in a little bit more detail as far as what it involves. Yes, Mr. Mendez, can you please, um, Come forward to the podium so that Thank we you. can help answer the questions since you chaired the committee. Hi, Mr. Mendez. Hello. Um, on the um, option, the rates uh, carrier, where it says volume, um, option two, there's, a, there's an amount. Uh, the, the Hartford doesn't have, it's not. not it's NA, not, a, not applicable. Yes. What is that amount? What, what does that represent? So when we when this was presented to the committee, uh, we did have our, our consultant that was kind of walking us through that process. Can you? Can, okay. So we did have the consultant that was walking us through the process, uh -huh. um, but the actual the, the volume I'm not sure what the difference is. It might be tied to some sort of dollar amount that the that they're expecting the district to provide, uh, based on the historical usage that they've had. What is what is uh, what carrier are we using currently? For the voluntary life and benefit, uh, I believe 
it is Aflac. 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 And before that, it was Colonial. And before that, it was we. It, though that one has changed quite a bit. Can I and real and quick? and I'm sorry I, to there's a, Can yes, I sir. Can I and apologize, but I think it suffice to say that maybe the public should uh, have it. Uh, have a chance to Display? see what we're discussing. Sure. Is it possible? If, if it it should public. be. We yes. should be, yes, we yes. should be scrolling through the, through the, uh, I want, I want is the there any attachments? Yes. Uh -huh. the, the table. Yes, the public. Because at home they're um, saying, well, what are, what right. are we discussing? And, and again, um, on this, correct me if I'm wrong, Mr. Mendes, but on this uh, voluntary, if they had a previous, if they have Colonial, if they have AFLAC, if they have a different vendor, a different carrier, they are able to keep that same one. Is that correct? Correct. Yes. So it's only, oh, okay. yes, it's only the individuals who choose to go with the new carrier. I see. Um, this, if they have AFLAC, if they have Colonial, Humana, they get to stay with those. Is that correct, Mr. Mendes? Yes. Thank you. And this is simply just a voluntary product, it so is, yes. if the individual Employee's does choice. not want to go with this product, they don't have to. That's they correct. can source it on their own through another vendor. And, and, and some do external. have their own personal, they go with their own personal agent as well. So, Ms. Mediola, um, the district does not pay. This is the employee and the employee's Every, choice. So this is a break from previous years where we had to pay or no. Voluntary insurance has usually been through the employee uh, I pay. It was back, okay. I'm prior, I, I wouldn't know if prior the district um, Mr. Mendes, assisted did we have to pay an agent to actually do this type of ta tabulation? No, so since the, since the district doesn't actually pay for it, uh, board approval wasn't, uh, wasn't uh, done. Yes. No, 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 uh, no, I'm sorry. Ms. No, 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 I, yes. That's very good points, ma'am. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, are the agents uh, on the voluntary life uh, disability? What I was looking the over, the, over here? It's with the standard, and um, there is no agent. No agent. No, sir. Okay. Okay. Thank you, sir. So this, oh, by the oh. way, thank you. Uh, real quick question. This is a selection from the staff. From right? the committee, yes. yes, sir. Okay, so. And, and again, they get, to, they get to uh, stay with who, are, who they currently have or outsource to a private, you know, with private insurance. So their well. buy-in is that's what the staff wanted, not what the board wanted. Correct. What Ms. Mignola wanted. Correct. Okay. Just want to be that out I there. don't have a vote. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Okay. Any other discussion? <clears throat> Ms. Delgado? Uh, no, 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 okay. thank you. Okay. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Oh, you know what? I'm sorry. Oh, no, we did get that. Okay. No, Aye. Yes. Okay. Uh, Mr. Howell? Aye. Okay. Aye. All those opposed? <coughs> Motion passes. D? Whole Universal Life, Ms. Mendiola. Yes, ma'am. Administration is recommending um, Texas Republic for Universal Whole Life Insurance for Mercedes ISD. Okay. May I have a motion? So moved. I have a motion from Mr. Garza. May I have a second? Second. I have a motion from Mr. Acosta. Any discussion? Um, yes. I guess Mr. Mendez. <laughs> I guess if you, it's okay. Um, yes, I see. Um, what's that? Oh, it's up there. Uh, the um, again, this is also voluntary. This is something that they can purchase. They can go with or stay with whoever they're whoever they have. They currently have. Correct. Correct. Okay. Yes. Uh, I was looking at the you know like you know, ter terminal illness benefit and you know the rates again. You know um, the rates on here. Uh, um, it covers at 75 percent and one at 50 percent. Uh, what does participation requirement mean? That that they need this many employees or this percentage of the, the school district to uh, to provide this plan? To guarantee the rates. Correct. To guarantee the rates. Okay. What is provided? Technology credits. Those are credits that they're actually providing the district uh, to assist for the payment of the uh, enrollment system. 
because there's an enrollment system that that the district that the agent uh, usually pays for and that those credits are, are given to the agent or to the district to to procure that uh, enrollment system to pay the fee Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, just a quick question, Ms. Medulla, uh, on that whole universal life. Uh, no agents involved. Yes, sir. Okay. There are agents. And who are these? And we will we will um, we will bring those to the board. We will bring a recommendation as to which agent uh, the board will be recommending for that particular insurance. Thank you. Okay, any further discussion? Okay. Nope. All those in favor say aye. 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 <clears throat> All those opposed? Motion passes. E, accident, critical illness, and hospital indemnity. Mrs. Mendiola. Administration is recommending UHC for worksite insurances for accidental critical illness and hospital indemnity. Okay. May I have a motion? So moved. I have a motion from Mr. Acosta. May I have a second? Second. I have a second from Ms. Delgado. Any discussion? Just the same question I'm giving Ms. Delgado. We're going to wait up for the agents. This first. one, UHC does not have an agent. Okay. Okay. All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Motion passes. Okay. Uh, three, discussion and possible action to award RFP number 042121-355 Security Guard Services. Mrs. Mendiola. Yes, Madam Chairwoman. Administration is recommending MLG Services for um, security guard for RFP number 042121-355. Okay. May I have a motion? So moved. I have a motion by Mr. Garza. May I have a second? A second. A second by Mr. Acosta. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Okay, aye. All those opposed? Nay. 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 Okay, motion fails. So in that, do we just, just mm -hmm. dive That's there and we just go on to the next one? Yes. Okay, all right. Four, discussion and possible action to approve memorandum of understanding between Region 1 ESC Migrant Program and Mercedes ISD for non-project district arrangement. Mrs. Mendiola. Administration is recommending approval of the memorandum of understanding between Region 1 ESC Migrant Program and Mercedes ISD for non-project district arrangement. Okay. May I have a motion? So moved. Motion by Mr. Garza. May I have a second? Second. I have a second by Ms. Delgado. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 All those opposed? Nay. Nay. Okay. Okay. Nay. Motion passes. Okay, five, discussion and possible action to provide termination notice to Carlisle Insurance and Montalvo Insurance for property and casualty insurance and authorize administration to assign agent if necessary to assist in the procurement process. Mrs. Mendiola. Administration is not making a recommendation at this time and requests that no, no action be taken. Okay. That's it. Um, executive session. If during the course of this meeting, discussion of any item on the agenda on the agenda should be held in closed meeting, the board will conduct a closed meeting in accordance with the Texas Open Meetings Act, 
Texas Government Code, Chapter 551, Subchapters D and E, the board may consult with legal counsel on, on a matter discussed in executive session pursuant to Section 551071 of the Texas Government Code. A, personnel pursuant to Section 551.074 of the Texas Government Code and attorney consultation pursuant to Section 551.071 of the Texas Government Code. One, resignations, terminations, appointments, evaluations, reassignment duties and discipline of professional, paraprofessional, non-contract employees, teachers, substitute, and substitute for maintenance, transportation, and cafeteria department. It is now 6 p.m. and we are in executive session.